Has the Khalistan movement, a political Sikh nationalist movement, impacted the diplomatic relations between India and Canada? It's a question that invites contemplation. A question that takes us knee-deep into international politics, history and the power of social movements. It's about more than just two nations. It's about people, trade, diplomacy. It's about the threads that weave the complex tapestry of global relations. So, how did the Khalistan movement come to influence this particular thread? Let's delve into the history to find out. The Khalistan movement traces its origins back to the partition of India in 1947. This cataclysmic event saw the creation of two nations, India and Pakistan, and led to the division of the populous region of Punjab. The partition left the Sikh community, which had a significant presence in Punjab, divided and disoriented. In the years following the partition, a section of the Sikh community began to demand a separate state of their own, Khalistan, where they could safeguard their distinct identity, culture and religious practices. This demand was fueled by a sense of marginalization and neglect by the central government. The movement gained momentum in the 1980s, turning violent and leading to a period of unrest in Punjab. The movement, though largely subdued now, has left a lasting impact on India and its relations with other countries, including Canada. The effects of the Khalistan movement extend beyond the borders of India, impacting its relations with Canada. Diving into the heart of the matter, the Khalistan movement has created diplomatic hiccups between India and Canada. On one hand, India has expressed its concerns over the support for Khalistan sympathizers in Canada, while on the other, Canada has treaded cautiously, balancing its commitment to free speech and its diplomatic relations with India. This diplomatic tightrope walk has often resulted in strained relations, with both nations trying to navigate their shared history and differing perspectives on the Khalistan issue. Trade, the lifeblood of any bilateral relationship, has also been swayed by the ebb and flow of the Khalistan movement. Certain instances of political tension have cast a shadow over trade relations, with potential trade deals getting caught up in the crossfire. Yet, the economic interdependence between these two nations has often acted as a buffer, minimizing the long-term impact on trade. But perhaps the most impactful change has been in people-to-people -people relations. The Khalistan movement has left its mark on the Indian diaspora in Canada. The Canadian Sikh community, a significant part of the Indian diaspora, is often caught in the middle of this political crossfire. While some support the movement, others oppose it, resulting in a divide that has implications for social cohesion. This divide has also influenced the perception of the Sikh community in Canada, adding another layer of complexity to the issue. The Khalistan movement, thus, has woven a complex tapestry of diplomatic, economic and social threads that have shaped India-Canada relations. It's a story of shared histories, diverging narratives and the constant attempt to find common ground in an ever-evolving political landscape. The ripple effects of the Khalistan movement continue to influence the dynamics between these two nations. So, what could be the possible solutions to address these issues? Uh, let's dive into a detailed analysis of the potential remedies to the impact of the Khalistan movement on India-Canada relations. Firstly, the power of diplomatic dialogue cannot be underestimated. Both nations need to engage in open and honest conversations about the Khalistan movement and its implication. These discussions should not be about blame or accusations, but rather understanding each other's perspectives and finding common ground. While the process may be painstaking and time-consuming, it's a crucial step towards healing the rift. Next, let's talk about trade agreements. Economic cooperation can often be a bridge to better political relations. By focusing on shared economic interests, India and Canada can foster a relationship based on mutual benefits. This could involve negotiations to improve trade terms, exploring new sectors for collaboration, or even joint ventures that can create jobs and prosperity in both nations. Then, we must consider the importance of people-to-people -people relations. While government policies and diplomatic talks play a significant role, the everyday interactions between the citizens of the two countries can also be instrumental in improving relations. This could involve cultural exchanges, academic collaborations, tourism initiatives, and more. The idea is to cultivate a mutual understanding and appreciation that transcends political disputes. 
Of course, all these solutions will require a considerable amount of patience, diplomacy and willingness from both sides. It's important to remember that the issues we're dealing with have deep historical roots and resolving them won't happen overnight. Moreover, it's also worth noting that these solutions are not a magic bullet. They require ongoing efforts and adjustments based on the evolving dynamics of the situation. The key is to remain committed to the process, keeping the lines of communication open and being ready to adapt when needed. In conclusion, the road to recovery may be long, but with a commitment to diplomatic dialogue, economic cooperation and fostering better people-to-people -people relations, there's hope for a more harmonious India-Canada relationship. These solutions, while not exhaustive, provide a pathway towards improving relations between India and Canada. In conclusion, the Khalistan movement has indeed affected the India-Canada relations in multiple ways. Born out of a quest for a separate Sikh state, the Khalistan movement has left deep imprints on the political, social and economic fabric of both nations. We've seen how trade between the two countries has been impacted, with diplomatic tensions often clouding economic opportunities. The diplomatic sphere too has felt the ripple effects, with both nations having to navigate the delicate balance between internal security concerns and international relations. The people-to-people -people relations have arguably been the most affected. The diaspora, while contributing to Canada's multicultural mosaic, has also been a source of tension due to differing views on the Khalistan issue. This has often led to the creation of rifts within the community and strained relations between the two countries. Moving towards resolution, we explored potential solutions that both nations can consider. For India, addressing internal grievances and ensuring inclusive development could be key. For Canada, a nuanced understanding of the diaspora's diverse perspectives can help in shaping balanced policies. The road ahead for both countries is not without challenges. It requires delicate diplomacy, a nuanced understanding of historical grievances, and a commitment to mutual respect and understanding. However, we must remember that these relations are not defined by these tensions alone. The shared values of democracy, pluralism, and mutual respect provide a solid foundation for both nations to build upon. While the situation is complex, continuous dialogue and understanding can help in mending the relations between India and Canada. We believe our geopolitical research study have enriched your understanding on Khalistan movement, the impact on India-Canada relations. Furthermore, if you are looking for geopolitics and economic research and analysis, real-time insights and data, then feel free to get in touch with us at www.marketresearchuniverse.com also, don't forget to subscribe and follow us at Market Research Universe for regular updates. For more detailed analysis, real-time and mega-trending market research data access, we are happy to introduce Market Research Planet, a subscription-based platform powered by Market Research Universe, MRU, offering you unlimited reports reading, downloading and data access from anywhere on any device starting now. Stay informed, make better decisions. Market Research Planet's subscription offers unlimited access to invaluable market data for startup founders, executives, directors, CEOs, CMOS, CFOs, researchers, managers, consultants, analysts and academics, teachers, professors, doctoral research scholars and PhD candidates. Access trend-setting reports and databases from any device. Elevate your research work, presentations, and decision-making with real-time industry insights, encompassing consumer surveys, market sizing, trends, and forecasts across diverse sectors. Sign up for Market Research Planet to get access for mega-trending market research reports, as well as startup business plan reports and community resources, through which you will get access to more than 100-plus startup business plan reports, 500-plus mega-trending market research reports and consumer research reports, 1,000-plus company profiles, and routine updates on industry trends, forecasts, and an array of other industry-specific databases, this invaluable resource will empower you to make well-informed decisions, catering to the prosperity of enterprises of varying magnitudes, be it startups, small businesses, medium-sized ventures, or large corporations. Getting curious but undecided? No need to worry. Dive into a 7-day free trial extravaganza immersing yourself in a world of mega-trending market research reports, niche market databases, and startup business plan reports with new startup business idea generation support and vibrant community facilities. Why wait? Ignite your journey with a 7-day free trial today. Also, 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and follow our social handles at Market Research Universe for regular updates on various industries. Thank you for watching.